Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche and we are here once again on the final island with our tribe and quite a bit of drama. Um, but before we begin I do have a couple of things I want to say and one of these is kind of a PSA but I, I do want to put it out there just so you guys know what's going on. I have been getting some email or not emails some mess some comments on YouTube about people asking, oh, will you check out my channel, or check out my channel and you can win subscribers and stuff, and okay, guys, I I know some of you mean well, and I don't know if some of you guys are actually trying to scam me or not, I don't know what your intent is, but please, if you want to ask me something like that, message me and don't send don't post it in my comments because all that does is get it caught in my spam filter which I then have to clean out and so if you have something like hey check out my channel I'm running this contest that can get you more subscribers or hey will you check out my channel and see if the content is any good I'm okay with you asking me those things I may say no especially if you're asking me to evaluate the content on your channel because I specialize in certain types of content and so if you're asking me to evaluate a channel about trucks and truck reviews I will probably say no because that's not my thing I do animal games I do Minecraft I don't do trucks so if you send me something like that I may say I really don't feel like I'm qualified to evaluate your channel and if you send me something about Oh, um, you can win subscribers if you do this thing. I, I don't know. I probably will say no. You can still send me those things. You can still ask. It never hurts to ask. But I do ask that you do it in my messages because if you're putting it in my comments, first of all, it gets caught in my spam filter. And second of all, it feels an awful lot like advertising and exploitation. And that's not the kind of thing I want to go on in my comments. So if you have something like that, that that's fine. You can you can message it to me, but please don't put it in my comments. It's not the place for it, and it just goes in my spam filter, which I always forget to check anyway. So, yeah. So that's just a little PSA, and I know most of you guys aren't doing that, but I have gotten a, several messages caught up in my spam filter now from comments that people have been putting on my videos, and so I just want to put that out there. Uh, probably not a big deal for most of you, but also the thing about evaluating people's channels is kind of important just because, I, I mean, I know some of you guys are looking for feedback, and that's great. I mean, if you guys have feedback for me, that's great too, but I, if depending on what you're asking me and what your channel centers on, I may not be the most qualified. So it doesn't hurt to ask, but depending on what it is, I may say, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm qualified to judge this and to give you advice. Maybe you should find someone else. Uh, but anyway, that covers that. <laughs> That's the main thing I wanted to say. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. The other thing I wanted to say real fast before we get going with Niche again is that um, I have something pretty special planned coming up. Not just the 100 subscriber special, which is coming up because we are getting pretty close to 100 subscribers but something else. Yes, I have something else planned, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And it will hopefully be coming up within the next few days here. And all I'm gonna say right now is that Niche is not the only animal game I play, not the only animal game I have ties to, and Maybe, just maybe, I've been doing a little bit of work with another game. And maybe, just maybe, I'm thinking about starting another series. I'm not going to be stopping my niche series. Definitely not. This is going to continue and go on. And I really love the series. And although the season will probably be ending pretty soon here, I'm probably going to stop it either on episode 20 or when we've cleared out this entire island. But once the season ends, we will just be going on to a new tribe in the new update. But in addition to my current series, I may or may not have another series in the works. And I may or may not have some special bonus content that you guys might find pretty interesting. So, 
and hopefully this will be coming up within just a few days here. I'm really hoping. I am waiting on a few things that I'll explain a little bit more once the series actually starts. But I do have something else in the works, kind of waiting. So, especially as this season wraps up, I don't know if there will be a break between Season 1 and Season 2, or if we'll just launch straight into Season 2. We may just launch straight into Season 2, and we may have a special extra long season finale for this one. But, um, especially as we're wrapping up Season 1 of Niche, just know that I do have something else special in the works. And it will hopefully be coming out very, very soon here. But enough about that. <laughs> Let's get going. I've already wasted enough time. Um, so, yeah, it's it's raining. It's raining, which is a good thing. And it's actually, <laughs> ironically, it's actually a little bit rainy here today in real life. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't been raining quite as much as I would had hoped it would. Um, because I actually live somewhere that really needs the rain. <laughs> um, I'm not going to tell you where, but it... It is very dry, and we appreciate any rain we can get, and unfortunately it hasn't rained as much as we hoped it would, but hopefully it will keep raining a little bit more. It's, it's just been sprinkling a bit. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think that's about left all that's left for this day. So we'll go ahead and start a new one. And I hear... Oh, no! Oh, no, we don't want her to get sick. Um, we're going to take Roke here... And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no bunny. I think the bunny is really. There's a horny male here. I don't like these guys. Um, we're actually gonna move Tanu. <laughs> Tanu can come up here and be able to collect things. Oh, yes, and then Kalare here. Oh, and Malare. Um, very, very pretty little one. Aww. She's very pretty, very pretty children <laughs> over here. Oh, let's get this menu up too. Um, <clears throat> sorry. And unfortunately, we just lost their father. Or well, I don't think Nuta's father. I think Nanuta is the half sibling of Rare or Rare, <laughs> however you'd like to say it. Um. And let's go ahead. And who was her mate? Did her mate her mate was the one who just died? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so Seseme, let's go ahead and try to breed her with Kukuku here. Let's go ahead. Let's just try that and see. And I'm gonna bring her up this way. Oops. And we actually have more berries here so that we can collect a few more. They're not very good collectors. We have a horny male sitting there. And let's go ahead and grab this. And um, Nanuro here can explore a little bit and can collect some of these. And Laisi here, we're really hoping... Oh, there's a stump! The stumps are pretty useful. Okay. Um, oh, and he can grab this. And let's go ahead and I think that's about all we can do for the day. Um... I'm going to start, well, maybe, uh, we have so many females and not enough males. We are desperately low on males, unfortunately. <laughs> um, great. So this guy may actually be pretty important if, if we have time. In fact, oh, great. That's lovely. Roke here is too old to try and move back. I think we got to, oh, we have got to find a nest. There's a bunny burrow there. Oh, we don't really need more food at the moment. Roke here, I think I'm going to let explore. Yeah. And we'll let... Ooh, that's not good, though. Because he can't see on his own. Okay. Um, we're going to gather... We're going to bring Tanu over here. Bring her back. Have her gather berries. And he can actually not gather any berries. Great. Um, okay, so we're going to get Kalare... Oops, we're going to get Melare... No, Dodo Mingo. Get away. Who? Okay, no, that was... Wait, I did just... Okay, yeah, I just did that. It always freaks me out now when I hear the purring because I worry it's a horny male. <laughs> so it always kind of scares me. And is that bird still flying around? The bird's gone now. So we're going to go ahead and bring these guys, Nanuta and um, Rare, up this way. 
And maybe, I think Kukuku and Miko, I think we're gonna try and... Ah, stupid Dodo Mingo. Um... Uh, I hate the Dodomingos. We gotta bring some of these guys off up this way. We've got to- oh, there's a bunny. And we're gonna bring Isra off up this way. And if that Dodomingo leaves that nest, we are taking it. And we'll go ahead and start a new day. And I hear a carnivore. And I don't like what I'm hearing. And let's go ahead- Roke here is actually going to pass away, so let's go ahead- and we're not killing that bunny because we're not in desperate need of food right now. Um, and we want to collect this and collect berries and shake the tree. We really need to find her a nest. And we gotta keep watching. Oh my goodness! Rokunu! Oh, it looks like he's kind of named after Roku. Wow. Um, and we'll go ahead and I hear an unholy amount of wrestling going on it makes me very nervous and I think that might be a carnivore so we're actually gonna yep that's a carnivore and on second thought um, I'm gonna start bringing some tribe members over and we are not gonna move to say me like I thought we might to try and oh I kind of want to though I kind of uh we gotta move the baby we're gonna move her down here because she is getting older and I think we're gonna have to go kill this Dota Mango. How strong is the Dota Mango? I think we're gonna- there we go. It's off the nets. That's all we needed. <laughs> um, and these guys have got to keep exploring like their lives depend on it because we have got to find more males or at least spread out. Um, and unfortunately one of our males just passed away. <laughs> this is very bad. Rokunu, however, is male, so that's a good thing. Um, and it looks like the ram horns are slowly taking precedence. That's really interesting. I'm gonna put her here. Hey, that bunny just took a berry. Uh, I think this guy's gonna go kill the bunny. And we're gonna kill this bunny. And kill this bunny. And keep attacking the predator. There we go, we got the predator. And we're actually going to explore it this way. And there's another berry bush! Yay! Okay. So we might be able to do this. We've got to, um... Can he... Oh my gosh. There's a predator right behind Nunuro. No, that is not okay. That is not okay. Help him, please. Oh, she's getting so old, though. No! Oh, but there's a nest! Oh my gosh. Everything is happening. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Everything is happening. I'm gonna move these guys and just see if we can get that Dodomingo. The Dodomingo moved! Okay. She's gonna come sit in this nest and we're gonna attack the car- dang it, the carnivore. If the carnivore hits her, she's dead. Oh my gosh. This is drama. This is drama at its finest. Oh man, I really hope he doesn't hit her. I really want her to live because I really want to see if we can breed these guys. Oh man. Oh man. We have to see and we're so low on food. And we had another baby down here that I didn't even remember we had. Um, Kuro. Oh my goodness. That's- oh wow. He's really pretty. He got the striking black mane again. Um, we have another berry. We're going to grab the berry. And oh, please don't hurt her. Oh, dang it! Oh my gosh, and... Oh man, he's in bad trouble now, because he's blind, he can't see anything. We gotta get someone over there. Um, Tanu, how fast can you move? You can't. You can't move fast. That is the answer. Um, these guys have got to get moving this way. Um, very, very quickly. This is bad. Uh-oh, and we're out of food again. Um, this is very bad. I really don't want him to die. I want to pass on his ears. And unfortunately, he lost the one who we think was kind of falling in love with him. And that's... Oh, man. This has gotten very dramatic. And we're out of food. And we can't do anything. And... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, we have... We can do one more um, berry, though. We can gather one more berry. Let's quickly go ahead. I really don't want him to die. No, please don't die. Please do not die. <gasps> 
He's gonna die if we don't do something. We really need to get over here quickly. Um, so she's gonna come here. We can see the predator. We can attack. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I didn't realize we we're out of food. Oh, my goodness gracious. This has gotten bad. Cora, I am sorry, but we need food very badly. Um, okay, she's okay-ish, and we need food very badly. I didn't realize the food situation was going to go downhill this fast. Um, we just lost another mother. Um, everything is kind of going crazy right now. We are going to... He can't do any gathering. We got to get someone in here. I think we're going to move her up here. And get her in the nest because she is pregnant. And Rilare, we're going to move out. And Kalari is okay. Kukuku, however, is not so okay. Um, we're going to breed these two. And I think we're actually going to try and breed these guys. Because we want to get a lot of creatures. Because um, we are very much running out of males. And so Rakunu, I think... Maybe Rakunu... How, how do these guys compare genetically? Similar, but not the same. I think maybe we'll have Rakunu breed with Miko over here if we can. And Malare. I think Malare will come over here and can kind of take this berry place. And we're going to start exploring. Yeah, there's another berry bush. Oh, that's what we've been looking for. That's what we've been needing. Okay. Okay, we can still do this. Got to get our child out this way. And can't really move her very well yet. And we need to see what this wrestling is. And bad news bears. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything is happening. And we're out of food. And everything is descending into chaos. Oh dear. Um, let's go ahead. Please don't attack. Ah, the bird is back. People, er, creatures are sick. Oh dear. And he can't gather berries. Dang it, seriously. Okay. We are going to gather that. He's going to come over here and explore. She is going to move over here because she actually can't know that horny male is coming after her. And you know what? This guy, he's going to die. He, he'd better die. He had better die this next turn. And we had another... Oh, Takuven! Wow, he's really pretty too. Again, very, very resemblant of Roku. And these guys should be marked with the blue. And we don't want to, um, and that's actually not close enough to protect. In fact, we want him right here. Um, but there are these guys, and there is a nest, and the dodo mingo is in the nest. But we're going to gather, and we'll get someone on this stump. Cora can sit on this stump and help illuminate the area. And these guys can continue exploring this way. There's another berry. We gotta keep them exploring. Um, and well, that was the result of that one. And we gotta keep her near these guys because the, um, the bird is circling. And let's go ahead. Oh gosh. I'm gonna move her out because the baby will still be okay. We're gonna breathe them. And can he come down? He can come down. And breed one last time with Miko before he dies, unfortunately. Um, okay. Let's go ahead. Can you do anything? You can look here. And we're gonna unfortunately have to say goodbye to him. And I hear somebody getting hurt. There's somebody getting hurt. Who's getting hurt? I didn't see where that was. I think that maybe was a creature that's not one of ours. Who... Oh, that guy. Ugh, seriously? Wow. There's so many horny males on this island. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And the dodo mingo is still in the nest. And I hear bad things going on down here. And we really need to get out of the nest. Get in the nest. Because she needs to have a place to have her baby. And we're going to continue exploring with this guy. And we are now out of food, so we got to gather more real fast. Um, dang it. Oh my goodness. And we're going to move Takuvan out. And we'll move Kalare in. 
and there's nowhere really good that has food and we did let's see what his last baby looked like oh wow very very pretty i love the blacks the black fur and the blue eyes i love that oh my goodness and we're very low on food again i think next turn you know what we'll do there's someone in there there's someone there we gotta get someone over there so i'm gonna gather a berry here I'm gonna move here. No, we're not gonna let that bunny get the berries. Um, but we might get this bunny and this bunny. <laughs> that worked out. But we've got to get um, someone down. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get over there, though. Um, and Tanu just got hurt because he didn't have enough food. And there's rustling everywhere. I'm not even kidding everywhere. Ah, that's more bad news. <laughs> Bad news of the worst possible kind. <laughs> and, oh, we're out of food again. And you, Rokanu, um, are pretty much definitely the heir of Roku. <laughs> you look almost exactly like him, except I believe Roku had antlers. Oh my goodness. And we don't have any food to move the baby. A very interesting baby over here. Kind of pretty. Um, has the spit snout, definitely has some characteristics of his father. Um, let's go ahead. Oh man, someone is really getting hurt down there. We've got to get down there. There's, who is this? New Duke, okay. Um, okay. He's very, very hurt, but can he, how much strength do these guys? Three and three. Um, will it be enough? I think... We've got to Tanu. Oh, Tanu's out of moves. This guy. Okay, we we've got to um, gather more berries quickly, and because if we can kill that karma, yes, that's a lot of food. I am very much hoping. Yes, we got the bunny, and we can get this bunny, and we can get this meat, and we can get that berry, and we can move baby out of the nest. And there are lots of dodo mangoes around, so I kind of feel like that means there might be a nest nearby. And we're going to move Aname out of the nest and breed Miko with Rokunu. And little Kuro here can start moving up this way. And I think um, Takuvan... Oh, we got to get these guys. Lalace, and then we'll move Kalare up this way and we'll get Rare in the nest. And is this dodo mango... That dodo mango is one shot so um and then let's go ahead we got to keep exploring we got to really push with the exploring because um the more we explore the more chance of finding berry bushes i really don't like all this rustling going on but i think it could just be dodo mingos um because there's like even one down there i think we're gonna move there's a berry bush though um, we are going to move over that way, and these guys can maybe, they're both pretty injured. So we're going to start sending someone over here, because we have, how are these guys doing? Korra? Isra's not doing so well, but Korra's got a little time left. Let's go ahead, and I think everyone is kind of blurred into the line of Roku. <laughs> I just realized that, um... But a lot of them are descendants of multiple lineages, and I've kind of just lost track. Okay, Takuvan, do well. No, Takuvan, I think we want to keep here. Um, maybe Nanuta can go this way. And uh, do we have any other good males? I want to keep some males around here. Maybe, uh, do we want to send Kuro? I don't know if we want to send Kuro. I'm going to send one male over there, because we have these guys too. But they're both not doing so well. And there's another carnivore. And I don't like this. Oh, and this guy's blind, too. I didn't realize that. He is definitely blind, which means she has recessive blind. Um, I think this is probably a carnivore. So we're going to gather this berry. And we're going to gather this berry. I actually don't know what that was. He'll come sit here. And we're actually going to... She has one turn left. Who has the best genetics? Uh, this guy has better genetics. So we're going to bring him up. And actually breed Tanu. With Isra here. And this guy can come over and... Um, gather this. And shake the tree. And we're going to move... 
Nanuta over this way again. Let him get this bunny, though. And we'll gather these berries. And we'll gather this. And we're going to actually move her. She's going to die, so we'll just get her off the nest. And we're going to move her here. And the bird is still around. That's not good. Um, we've got to get someone to gather berries, so I'm going to set him here because he's next to race, so he should be safe. And we'll move this way, and we'll move this way, and there's a stump! Stumps are good. Ooh, but we're out of food. That's not good. Um, and you, sir, need to have a blue gem. I've really lost track of the lineages. Oh! Um, I can't click. Why can't I click? Why can't I click? Um, Aname here, though, I think is of the lineage of the, the black, um, Blackford brothers that we had come over from the beginning, because she does have the Blackford, and I think Mako might be, um, so I'm going to mark her with the orange in the middle. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to sort out the lineages. And where is all this wrestling? It's over there. Um, Okay. Let's go on ahead. There's so much wrestling. Oh my goodness. And more death. And another birth. And we're going to go ahead and gather because he does have one good gathering foot. Um, race, I think. So there's nothing in there. I think we're not going to bother. And we're out of food again. Ah! Oh wait, we have more we can gather. That's good. That is very good. I'm trying not to hurt the creatures if I can by running out of food, but it is kind of happening. <laughs> and let's see. Let's come over here. She did have her baby before. Oh, and there's a bunny. We're going to get the bunny. Get the bunny. Get the bunny. Get the bunny. Got the bunny. She did have her baby, Masira, who actually got really good genetics based off her parents. Wow. She did not inherit blind eye from either of them. She got the antlers. Um, she does have a no paw. She actually got... Who has recessive panda? I guess Isra does. She got recessive panda. She got good immunity. She actually did really well. Um, oh, and this guy, Kurnu. I think we're going to actually move him. Is, will he be next to an adult here? Yeah, and he can deal with the tree because he's blind. And so he can't really do any exploring or anything, but he can help with the tree. And this guy cannot collect it all. What have I done? Um, Isra, I just wasted a move for no good reason. We do need someone. Well, and this guy can deal with the bush too, because none of these ones can. So we do, I think we're going to bring him this way and do some exploring a little bit. Not much. And we'll keep bringing Nanuta out this way and do we have anything more we can do we can um Rilara I think will move out and we are gonna breed these guys because Miko is not getting any younger and we only have one food left after that so we're not gonna do anything more um we'll start a new turn ah um well at least it's raining and I hear all kinds of chaos happening. I'm going to bring an Anako up here. We have a nest that someone could come and occupy, pretty much. Um, so do we have a female we want to send up here? We have two females. So I think Kuro and Kalare, perhaps. Yeah, Kuro can come up here and sit where he's not in the swamp, and Kalare can come up here, and this baby, Ramei can come over here, and Kalare can come up and take this nest, and we'll breed them, and Takuvan, um, Kome can leave the nest, and we'll breed these guys, we still have some food, and we have another berry bush up here that we can use, um, but we do want to get her in the nest eventually and this guy can do a little gathering and we have to fight um 
We do have food, at least. New Duke, unfortunately, this is his last turn. Please kill... Yes, we got the carnivore. Um, now, because we really need more males. We're still running pretty low on males. And these guys can keep exploring. And we found more berry bushes! Okay, we, there's nothing to collect. I'm not going to waste another move right now. Um, I think that's it for this turn. We'll go on ahead to one more turn. And I'm going to let this guy collect and collect. And we'll gather these berries and gather these berries. And um, I, keep, I heard another carnivore, which makes me nervous, um, always. We got to have someone on this stump, too. So I think this guy, Nanuta, so we're going to bring her, well, we'll bring him closer by one. And we're going to bring her over, breed them, and then we'll get little baby over here and get her up on the nest. Um, and... Let's go ahead and gather the berries. We have quite the following gathering over here. Rilara, you can come this way. Aname, you are definitely descendant of the um, the Darkford brothers we had. Rara here can leave the nest. We'll breed these guys again. And we'll, little, we have little Kareme here. Um, again, very good genetics, it looks like, yeah. And... Kwanana <laughs> um, also has pretty good genetics. Does have secondary blind eye. Who has that? Kur Kuro has secondary. And so does Kalare. Okay. And we need to find out what... Oh, lovely. And we're going to move her here and have them attack the carnivore before it kills them. So they got the carnivore. Um, let's actually have you explore the tiles around this, just so you know what where it is in case <laughs> you die. Um, oh my gosh. Well, we have been doing some exploring this time. We'll go ahead and do one last turn. And someone's getting hurt. And first of all, we're going to kill this bunny, gather the meat, and gather this meat. And then you can come down here, and it is a bunny. So we'll kill the bunny. Unfortunately, Mila will die soon. We got our healing fruit back. Um, so that is very good. Race is about to die, unfortunately. Is there someone we really want to heal? Kind of look. We're going to move Koana Ana out of the nest and breed these guys again. And we will gather the f And then Kareme can leave the nest and we'll breed Tukuvan. Takugan, and I think Lelace should start moving out this way and start coming this way, and I think Rilare will also start coming this way. Our little Greyford sisters, and then, oh my, someone is interesting here. Dakota, secondary blind eye, has ram horns. That's pretty good. Pretty good genetics overall. Good immunity. Um, we'll go ahead... And, oh yeah, we have a new little baby here. Oh my, Solara, wow. Well, she's very interesting. She's actually blind. She has one no paw. She has pretty bad immunity, unfortunately. Wow, she's really interesting, actually. The gray ones are honestly kind of pretty when they're blind. It's, it's kind of interesting. So I think we'll bring... No, well, we're, we'll bring Nunuta up. We'll let him sit on the stump because he can't actually collect. This guy can collect berries. And the, um, the nuts that fall out of the tree, too. And she can explore there. And we have so much rustling. And I think that's about it. That's about all we can do. You know what, I think, because that was a short term, we'll go ahead and do one more. Especially since we're coming up on the end of the season, and we do kind of want to try and explore the island. So we'll go ahead and do one more turn. Um, ah, who's dying? Who did I hear get hurt? 
Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll get the bunny. We're going to keep moving this way. Keep moving this way. You can go ahead and gather that. And... Very interesting little Solara here. Read them. Go back. Everything's jumping. Everything is jumping. I think... Sira, that's where the carnivore is. I really hope he doesn't hurt you. Oh my gosh. Everything is going down. Um... Let's go ahead and gather up some more berries, and actually we'll move and explore a little bit. We had a- ooh! Wow, Rara has very brilliant yellow eyes, and the black mane gene, the pure black mane, is becoming pretty prevalent, actually. So, um, let's go ahead down here with these guys. I think most of the rustling over here is bunnies. And gather and explore and explore. There's a dodo mingo. And, oh my, stripes. Wow. Oh, because the secondary panda, he has secondary, Takuvan has secondary panda. Whoa. And she has spots and stripes. So we have our little stripey Rara. Wow. And then Dakuta can step away and we can breed these guys. He'll stay pretty close though because he's still quite young. We're going to start moving Rara up here. Kind of move her this way. And, well, so that's the state of the island. And quite a bit of drama going on. <laughs> oh, and I think Ramayme will start to send this way to explore. Quite a bit of drama going on. Um, we have the whole carnivore situation. And unfortunately, our lovers from the last episode ended in tragedy. Um... The, our, the male was killed by a carnivore and the female died because she was hurt and she couldn't have her babies in time. And it just ended so dramatically. And actually the carnivore killed her too. The carnivore killed them both. But at least they died together. So we had that sorrowful tragedy. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that happened. That was... Oh man, that, that was very, very, very... <laughs> almost melodramatic in its own way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the things that can come from this game, I'm telling you, the game can get extremely, extremely in intense in its stories, even. Sometimes. And we're... I think, finally, we have some more males who are growing up. We have one, two, three, four, five, but we probably wouldn't use him for breeding, because he has a lot of bad genetics. Um... Six, seven males, and probably like three of them we don't want to use for breeding. So it's getting a little bit better. We're not totally devoid of males anymore. I was worried for a little bit there when we started the episode, but I think we're actually doing okay. Um, but I think for now, oh, we're coming up on this tree. Trees are always good. And we have two trees on this island. So, um, but yeah, we're doing okay. And we're coming up pretty close on the season finale. We have to maybe a few more episodes before that and before we move on to a whole new tribe with the whole new game mechanics that are in the new version. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. We'll have to see what happens with this tribe in the future. Um, so I will see you next time, but until then, this is Jay, over and out.